Oh, the amount of meta guns that are on the floor is just criminal. <laughs> no way. That was crazy. What's good, lads? Welcome back to another one. We all know life as a solo player in Tarkov is pretty rough. So today, I'm going to share some tips I've picked up along the way that will hopefully give you a bit of guidance and help you out in your raids. This video will specifically focus on fighting groups and how to navigate some of the trickiest situations in Tarkov. You're about to see some wild raids. Oh my god. Alright, tickle my magazines a bit. Seriously though, these are probably some of the nicest outplays I've ever pulled off. That's not to say they're flawless of course, but they're good for me. So I'll be breaking down my playstyle and giving you a bit of insight as to what goes on in that monkey brain of mine. Hey, Lucifer with the three months, man. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Shoot, born and Evan, done. Oh, yep, shots at gas. Without a moment to hesitate, I heard some shots at gas and started pushing up. If I was a little more patient there, I could have bagged myself an easy one tap. That's more like it. With one of them down, I can relax a bit and focus on winning this 1v1. This guy didn't seem interested in peeking me, so I took the opportunity to reposition a bit. You bitch! <laughs> Turns out they were actually a three man, and with a bit of wiggling around, I managed to survive. Taking a less aggressive flank probably would have been the play here. What am I made of today? I'm glad you asked, Blue. Sneak is a low calorie, sugar free energy formula with caffeine, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and electrolytes. If you're looking to do away with the unhealthy energy drinks or overpriced coffees, then you might want to give Sneak a try. I was super surprised with how refreshing it is to drink, so thank you Sneak for sponsoring today's video. Oh, and use creator code TULU at checkout. Just classic Lou that, you know, I go and throw a grenade and just hit the fucking mirror of a car and nearly nade myself, but then go and do a play like that at the same time. Good stuff. Alright, we have Vamo. How I didn't die there is beyond me. Oh, that was a three man as well. Shit, I just forgot. <laughs> There's no doubt that I got a little lucky with this fight, but this is a prime example of my playstyle. When faced with an overwhelming force, my first reaction is to retaliate and not allow them to close the gap with me. The closer they get in numbers, the more likely I am to die. So I'm fighting them on my terms. 
Let's touch more on this later, though. Well, shit. Actually, Scar's fine. I can just strip that because it's just got all stock attachments apart from the actual ones that you've got on the gun. All right. GG. Let's fucking go. Also, can we just... Can we just acknowledge the amount of juices that are on customs right now? Holy! Alright! Chill! Chill! I didn't even loot the first guy that I got a shooting kill on. Whoops. He was a noob anyway. Oh well. Alright, second raid now with the exact same gun. I've not spoken about this yet, but there's a reason these games are all on customs. Firstly, I've been getting good PvP here, and second, it's the map I've got the most hours on. And to me, there's no surprise that this is the map I usually perform best on. Navigating around and picking fights is something I'm extremely comfortable with. I'm certain there's a dude with a HK or M4 suppressed. Either I'm about to get one tapped or I'm about to run into him. I'm just gonna run this direction. Dude, two fucking months, man. Thank you, mate. How you doing? Doing well? How are the raids? Yeah, pretty good. I've had a 7 PMC raid today. Having a lot of fun. Hello, light bulb? I'm gonna die here. Yeah? Another one though. Pretty sure he's in garage. Yep. Pushing into this corner here was really risky, but I had to reposition from the guy in crack house. It gave me a much better angle on the geezer and garage, and since he was the closest threat, I decided to deal with him first. Head, bruv. I'm doing it again. Even though I was surrounded and outnumbered, I took the fights to each of those PMCs. The fights were on my terms. Hesitation in Tarkov is something that gets a lot of people killed. They think about a situation too much, miss the best window of opportunity, and it usually gets you killed. You feel like you could have done more. And I'm sure everyone here can relate to that experience at some point. With repetition though, you learn to hesitate less and act directly on the information you have. For example, in that fight, as soon as I heard steps and felt like there was a good opportunity to swing on someone, I did. And by taking fights quickly and acting on the info you get in the moment, it lessens the chance of someone repositioning on you and getting an easy kill. Not to mention, if you are fighting against a squad, a 1v1 scenario is easier than fighting multiple people at once. It's pretty uncommon for a squad to be running around holding hands, so I encourage you to take a page from my book. Challenge people, be aggressive, and don't be scared to die. Because if you do nothing, you'll probably just end up dead anyway. I 
I can drink condensed milk if anything, that's fine. That Karan's actually pretty thick. Why'd I kill the other guy? Just when you thought this raid didn't have anything else to offer, an airdrop. Anyway, as much as my ethos for W keying sounds good, it doesn't come without its flaws. Well, my flaws. I'm a very impatient player. I enjoy the high risk, high reward scenarios. And when I don't get my way, I tend to just push. I more or less run directly at the problem head on. And as you can see in those last two raids, it caught me in some near death experiences. There's plenty of times I could have taken a safer flank and probably ended up with the same result. So just bear that in mind. For now though, let's carry on sucking up all this loot. Thank you so much for the sub dude. Alright, one more guy. Okay. What the fuck was this thing then? Fuck it, if I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, you're kidding me. Took a while to figure out how to fit all that loot in, but we got there in the end. I'm gone. <laughs> the gods. Jeez, bro. That was a nasty one. Mate, four PMCs, but they were juicy as fuck, and I should have been dead. Hold left button, not even aiming, and you're gonna hit them, and they're just gonna be. Uh, 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 uh. That's it. That's a guy there. 
Did he just cross there? All right, this is the last raid I've got for you today. And I've got to be real for a second. This is one of the most intense raids I've ever had on stream. Just straight up refuse. Can't be arsed with that shit, man. That's just, it's just a waste of time. One tap. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. I killed two blokes and heard some stuff popping off crack house. So headed over to investigate. I'm in a bush. I'm dead. I just, I, I want to use, you know, I want nice accessibility to play a video game. I don't want to have to craft bullets every 16 hours. But do you see what I mean? It's just, it's such an inconvenience. I would rather just use something else entirely. I would rather use a drum mag of PS ammo than craft ammo. I'm not even joking. The only reason I'm using this gun is because I can buy BP from Rapport. And you can buy a fucking shit ton of it too. Shit. Next. Looking back on this fight, it doesn't even look like I'm playing Tarkov. It looks like I'm entry fragging on CSGO with my spray transfers and crosshair placement. Jokes aside, this was pretty clean. Okay, I said jokes aside and I'm just teabagging someone. Brilliant. It was time to sort out all the goods. <laughs> uh, nah, wait. I just, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna strip it and that way. Oh, do I though? Ah, fuck it. All right, let's just get this. That gazelle is... Yeah, that gazelle's staying on the floor. Um, yeah, let's go sort this out. Um, okay. I'm reloading for some reason. Thank you. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. Hang on, hang on, chat. I'm just brain... Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Wait, do I got it? I right, would just we're just getting rid of this thing. Don't worry, we don't need that. We don't need that. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good. It's all good. If only my Tetra skills were as good as my shooting. I headed outside to despawn my armor to make more room for more loot. Also, don't think we're done with this raid just yet. I might be juiced up, but there's plenty more to come. Oh shit on it. Oh, I wish I would have known that was there a second ago. Oh. Tosser. Alright, change of plan. Those gas masks might actually be worth something, you know. Um, right, we can actually get everything we want here, I think. That's what I wanted. But we didn't have enough space. Well, we sort of did, but we didn't. Alright, there we go. This works, right? Oh, 
I am fucking heavy. I need that for a quest, you're fucking me. The Zabralo is a rare class 6 armor that provides probably the best protection in the game. And this is the exact one that I needed for a quest. So, where were those wooden steps then? Those guys had to be together. Their timing was far too convenient for them to be two solos. At this point, I assume his teammate would have relayed that I was low on health, so I was expecting a push. It was clear this dude had no intention of pushing me. Who the fuck needs arms? Where the fuck did bus boy go? There's no way I one-tapped him. Surely fucking not. I Even I refuse to believe that. fucking vanquished this will be the death of me he's got to be over there in the alley surely I think he's upstairs in crack house. I think he was just yeeting grenades out the window.
I'm pretty dead here. I won't lie. He's playing weird. Definitely think I'm dead. <sighs> Just run? Nah. It's all or nothing, mate. I don't play like that. I'd rather die. Um... Honestly, I would just rather die. I live for this. We know this guy's still around because he threw that grenade, but he hasn't shown himself since I saw him at the buses. I checked all the main areas he could be and there weren't really any signs of him. The more I hang around, the more dangerous this situation becomes. But I'm greedy and there's a lot of loot up for grabs here. Fuck is this guy? Can't just leave it, man. Wait. There's another dead guy there. I can't leave this, man. Seven minutes. Yeah, we got enough time. Holy shit. I don't care. It's all or nothing at this point. All right, let's go back and loot this guy. Is Vulcan worth it? I don't think it is, right? Oh, no. Look at that gun. That M4 might need to get stripped. Time was running out and there was still so much loot on the floor. The more I picked up, the heavier I got, making it significantly more difficult for me to get out of this raid. Don't think I got time. time i don't think we're getting out without even checking what was on the last guy I killed i panicked and made a dash for the extract i need this armor real bad
Power's not on, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll check old gas. Oh, gas is open. I don't think we got time though. We we're at, we're definitely not getting out of this one. I don't have the tac tech on me anymore. It's an AVS. I think we're good. I think we just make this. Yeah, I dropped the tac tech for an AVS. <laughs> oh my. What the fuck was that? I don't even want to know. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh no. 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 Oh, the amount of meta guns that are on the floor is just criminal. <laughs> no way. Ah. Oh. That chunky armor was mine, and I finally turned the quest in. Before I wrap this up though, you've probably noticed that a lot of my fights have happened around the same areas and customs. And this isn't a coincidence. With experience comes confidence and know-how. You get a feel for how to path a map in certain situations, and it can definitely have an effect on the quality of your performance in fights. If you find yourself struggling in Tarkov, learn one map at a time. Learn inside out, learn all the angles and all the possibilities. This will reduce the amount of surprises you run into in raids, allowing you to navigate through tricky situations a lot easier. Map knowledge is key. Anyway, what a raid that was. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I'm really proud with how this video came out. So if you enjoyed, please go drop me a follow on Twitch. We're closing in on 25k, so I'd really appreciate your support.